Hello everyone, it's Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and I am here to show you Google Calendar appointment slots. So with appointment slots, you can have someone sign up for any type of appointment. So if you're doing distance learning, you may want them to sign up for office hours or question and answer time. So I may say my office hours are from 12 to 3, but I'm only showing up if you sign up for a time, something like that. You can also have teachers sign up. You can have parents sign up anytime you want anyone to sign up for an appointment. You can use appointment slots. So the first thing I do when I want to start creating appointment slots, and this is just something that I do, so I want to show it to you, is I create a calendar just for my appointments. It's just one of those things that I do to stay organized. So I come here to the little plus sign and I create a new calendar. So I'm gonna call this, let's say, office hours appointments. Just for an example, create the calendar down here. It'll tell you when the calendar has been created. Now I can come here and click on the arrow to go back in. So now whenever I wanna create those appointments, I'm going to click, single click on my calendar. Now I'm in week view. So if you're in a view that it doesn't, you can't single click or it just doesn't work, then you may wanna just go to week view. So I'm going to come here to week view and I'm going to single click. I'm gonna put it on Friday. So I'm gonna single click. I'm going to call these, let's say office hours. And I'm going to hit appointment slots. Now, March 20th, that's fine. I'm going to start these at, let's say, 9. I'm going to end them at, let's say, noon. I like that it tells me how many hours that is right there. Um, I want, you can do a single slot, which means it's going to be this whole thing. I'm going to do slots with duration, and I'm going to make each appointment 15 minutes. So I can also just do this and type it in. So each appointment 15 minutes, and I'm going to put it on my office hour appointment calendar. Yay, I see it right here. I'm going to hit save. And now I have those appointment slots. How do I get this to other people so of course they can sign up? I'm going to click on this again and it says go to appointment page for this calendar. Click there and this is the link in my Omnibox, the long weird link that I can send to people to sign up. So I would go ahead and send that. So you see that these are my office slots. Now it's showing me other stuff because it's me, but these are my office slots. If I refresh, they're still here, right? So if I come here, I can click, if I wanted to sign up for, let's say 9.45 to 10 a.m., I can click here. It already has my name here because for you to properly use appointment slots, the other person has to have a Google account. So if you're dealing with students that have Google accounts, you'll be just fine. What a lot of my teachers do for parents is they'll tell their parents to use their child's Google account. That way the child's name is here, right? Um, Cause sometimes the parent's name and the child's name is not the same, like the last name, for example. And then they can just somewhere right here, just type parents right now you want them to be careful in what they type right here in the description because this will be viewable to the public so they don't want to come here and say you know i want to talk about my drinking problem they don't want to put that on there okay so now when i hit save this spot is going to be gone so you don't have to get 50 emails saying hey can i have that spot do you see that spot it is gone if i refresh it's still going to be gone but now when I come here, when the next person comes here, they can click here and see, well, who took my spot? Educator Alexander. Ah, they want to talk about their drinking problem. So that's when you don't want to put that kind of stuff. So tell your, your people, like, just leave that blank or just put parent, things like that. So there you go. You just leave this open until you want to leave it open on your calendar. Notice I have Educator Alexander that signed up. I can just click that and see what they said. Um, then the last thing I want to show you with this is if you said sign up by 10 p.m. on Thursday and it's 11 p.m., you're ready to turn off these office, this sign up. 
What you can do is just come back here to the block, right click on it and delete. The person that's still signed up is still there, so you don't have to worry about that. And it's blue and red because like I'm signing up for myself, if that makes sense. So that's why you see that. Um, it would just be red if other people, outside people signed up and they wouldn't see this stuff on the calendar. Um, they will only see the office hours. That's why I like to do a calendar just for them. But I'm seeing this because I'm doing myself with my calendar. But um, so when the new person comes, because I deleted it, ta-da, they're all gone. So that's how you do appointment slots. Now, just a little little tippy tip with the tips if you want to use something like bit.ly to shorten that big link you can go to bit dot no no sorry bitly dot com and you can create a free account or you can just it can just oh i'll put a dot in it see no dot people no dot and um create a bit.ly account that's not oh my gosh what is wrong with today now i'll put a u Okay, I cannot spell, apparently. Um, so there you go, and you sign up for an account. And then once you sign up for an account and all that good stuff, you can just come here to create, and you see that I'm on a free account. And I can put that big link in there, hit create, or well, just let it go. And then it's gonna start with bit.ly slash, and I can come here and choose. So if I just said calendar, of course that's going to be taken, save. Right, of course. But if I want to put like Miss Smith's calendar, of course that'll be taken too because it's generic. But you know, put something there that you want to put, and then you can just do this link to send that link to your people, and it's a much smaller link that they can click on and that they can um, type in if they need to. So there you go. Five minute tip on Google Calendar appointment slots. Good luck.